When it comes to training and testing our nation's cyber operators who protect our satellites and the communication networks that they operate with, uh, they must be ready for a wide range of offensive and defensive scenarios that they could face. This is why it is critical to train outside a simulator and use the equipment and operating environment you intend to use. Uh, the Air Force Research Laboratory recently announced that they are planning to use CubeSats to create a cyber range for space for these cyber operators to conduct realistic exercises simulating cyber attacks against satellites and ground systems. And this was reported uh, by Space News. Using these cost-effective CubeSats to simulate space assets in orbit gives cyber operators the experience necessary to deal with scenarios in a way that promotes the train like we fight mentality. Uh, if you look at other military domains like air, ground, and water, the military regularly uses these real aircraft, live ammunition, and sea trials to exercise our defenders and promote tactics and techniques that help strengthen our forces. Space is no different from this, and uh, from the ground centers to the space assets in flight, a whole space cyber ecosystem can be recreated for the sole purpose of training and exercising the entire chain without putting risk of an irreplaceable asset.